I have always been a 3D printing kind of guy because I have been doing it for the past 7 years, but we create asked if I would like to try out their Vision Laser Engraver, and obviously I said yes because this thing looks awesome. They specifically sent me their clean air pack, which includes a laser, rotary set, fume extractor, and free materials kit. Just as a disclaimer, the machine was provided, but I'm not paid to say any of this, they just sent me this to make the video about. The initial setup was super easy. They claim that it's basically plug and play, and I agree because all you have to do is take the laser engraver out of the box, connect a hose for the air assist, and connect an exhaust hose for the fumes. Since this is a clean air pack, it simply hooks up to the machine using the exhaust hose, and then when turned on, it removes all the fumes that are produced while cutting or engraving. On WeCreate's website, there are two different options for laser power a 20 watt and a 40 watt system. The one I received is 20 watts. Let's get into the specifications of this machine. The build area in this machine is 400 by 270 millimeters or 15.75 by 10.63 inches. This comes fully equipped with an air assisted 20 watt laser that works for both cutting and engraving different materials. This machine can be connected over a cable, but it also has Wi-Fi capabilities through their Make It software. More on that later. To control this machine, you can either use the WeCreate Make It or Lightburn if you're already used to using that. This laser comes with lighting and a camera as well, which allows you to be able to see exactly where you're going to engrave, which makes it super easy to create whatever project you're working on. In order to test how accurate this camera actually is, I took a tiny block of wood and placed it randomly within the build area of the laser. Then I wrote the word tiny in the Make It software and placed it in the center of the block. In the image, it shows that the text is directly in the center of the block, so I sent it off to the machine to see how close it would actually get. To start a job, you send it to the machine from the computer and then press the button on the right side of the machine and it'll start doing whatever you have it programmed to do. This laser is actually autofocusing, which I think is one of the coolest parts of this machine. It is able to detect where on the build plate an object is and raise the entire assembly up or down to properly focus the laser on the object for the best results. Once the cube was finished engraving, I noticed that the text was slightly misaligned with where I had placed it on the software. It was still fully on the block, but not aligned how I set it in the picture. I'm not too sure if there's a way to change this to properly align it, however, I'm sure a software update or something of that sort would be able to fix this. Next, I wanted to try and engrave an image onto the wood that came in the package. The Make It software has a ton of different stock image options, like basically every single animal you can imagine. But I wanted to try something a little bit more difficult. So I found an image of Mona Lisa online and sent it off to the machine, which claimed it was going to take around 30 minutes to complete. Laser engraving images is basically like drawing one at a time, but using more or less power in darker spots. This means all the images are basically going to be black and white. But lasers are super precise, so images can turn out pretty cool looking. The Weekly Make It software has a ton of preloaded presets for various materials that are compatible with this machine, which is very nice. I decided to test the stop feature of the engraver by holding the button about halfway through the Mona Lisa engraving. The Mona Lisa came out pretty nicely, but it's a little bit lighter than I would have thought it was going to be, but this can definitely be changed by changing the amount of power that you use when you actually engrave an image. If I do a little bit more power, it could probably fix this issue. While only being 20 watts, this laser is still able to cut through certain materials too. I tried the wood that they provided for my first cut by cutting out my channel's name, Engineering Addiction. It seemed to work very well, and the cool thing is, this laser has a little tray that makes it super easy to clean all the little pieces that get cut out. You simply slide out the tray, dispose of all the little material scraps that are left over, and slide it back into the machine. This makes the cleanup on the machine super easy, which seems to be a theme on this machine. 
because in general everything about this machine has been super easy to use and figure out even with very limited experience in laser engravers. I wanted to try the cut feature on another material and I saw that leather was listed as one of the compatible materials as well. So I grabbed a little piece of scrap leather that I had lying around and I'm fairly certain that this is not real leather. So I picked vegetable leather as the material that I was cutting. And I set it to just cut a simple rectangle out of this material. This laser is super quick and moves up to speeds of 600 millimeters a second, which is very fast, but when cutting, it slows down a bit so that it can fully get through the material. There's also an advanced cutting feature, which I believe just sets the passes to two instead of just one. This leather cut very nicely and it's sliced all the way through. Another one of the super cool features that this machine has is a jigsaw puzzle preset in the make it software this basically allows you to generate your own puzzle which you're able to cut out of whatever material you would like so i wanted to try and turn the mona lisa that i stopped into a jigsaw puzzle so i lined up the picture in the software but for some reason once i was done actually cutting it out it was misaligned once again and it also didn't cut fully through but i think that's because i selected the wrong setting so I went ahead and tried it again to see if I'm able to get it to cut through because I know this machine is clearly capable of cutting material and to no one's surprise it was able to do it the second time when I fixed the setting. The package that I was sent included a rotary kit which means I'm able to engrave cylindrical objects. My first idea when I found out that I could do cylinders was engraving a powder coated tumbler or water bottle. I thought it would be cool if I was able to customize my very own bottle into an engineering addiction merch. The rotary kit super easily installs with two screws and one simple plug. I picked up this blue water bottle from the store and I wanted to engrave the words engineering addiction onto it. I tightened the clamp around the water bottle and set up the rollers which are just there to add support when it's being rotated so it doesn't fall off and mess up your engraving. With the first attempt, I accidentally selected line engrave instead of fill engrave, which just does an outline of what you want to engrave. So I redid it a second time with the fill engrave setting on instead, and the engraving came out really nice. All you have to do after you're done engraving is take a sponge and some dish soap and wash it off because it does have some black residue from all the powder coating you just engraved away. This will be really awesome for making gifts and various things in the future because I know a lot of people like these cups and tumblers as gifts. This laser is super simple and easy to use. I personally have very limited experience with lasers and making all of these various projects were super easy. There are countless more projects and uses for a laser like this and make it actually gives you a ton of projects right on the app which is very cool some of them you do have to pay for though just as a little disclaimer this laser would be a great option if you're just getting into laser engraving but also could be very useful if you're an experienced hobbyist as well because this machine is super capable and the 40 watt version is even more capable than this 20 watt this machine could probably even be used by kids that's how easy it is to use Thank you to WeCreate for sending me this machine and I look forward to making many more projects in the future with it. And if you would like to pick up one for yourself, the link is down below and you can use my code EA100 for $100 off today. I believe they're also running a Father's Day sale until June 17th. So go check them out down below. Thanks for watching.